Good morning, friend. How are you? Are you doing okay with all this smoke and stuff around us? It really is a lot, isn't it? There's a lot of smoke and it's really yucky outside and man, I'm, I'm tired of being inside, are you? Oh, I wish you could get out and play and go for a walk or a bike ride or something, right? Whew, that would be so nice right now. But we are sitting and playing inside and waiting for things to get better. Huh? And while we wait, at least we get to spend a little bit of time together. Huh? Today, I want to tell you a little bit more about Adam and Eve. You go all the way back to the beginning of Genesis, and, and they're the first two humans that God created. Okay? And, and in, in this special Bible that I have, um, they have some pictures every now and then that are really nice and colorful. All right, and here's a picture of, of Adam and Eve together. And, and that's, that's, the whole, that's the whole point. God made humans to be together. He even says, he, he, God says that he made everything and he was looking around and, and he made um, the first human being, he made Adam. And then he said, you know what? <clears throat> that Adam, he needs a friend. He needs a partner. He needs a wife. And so he made Eve and their husband and wife, and they got married, and they were meant to be together, and they were meant to have a family. You can read that in Genesis 2 with your family, that uh, God told Adam and Eve, he gave them a job to do. Way before, before they fell into sin, and God made this perfect creation, and he made these perfect people, and and he gave them the perfect job for them to do. And that job was to have a family. And for that family to have families, and for those families to have more families, and go on and so on and so on, and like grandkids and great grandkids and great 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 grandkids. And maybe even more. Right? And these families were meant to help one another. They were meant to comfort one another. They were meant to teach one another. You see, the way God designed us to be when we, when we come out of our mommy's tummies, we don't know much, do we? Have you ever seen a baby? Does the baby know how to walk like you or talk like you? No. No, but also, what about you? Do you know how to do all the things that your mom and dad can do? Like drive a car or figure out computer stuff? Right? Those are all things that we can learn and we can learn as we get older, but even as we get older, we need other people to help us learn. And God designed that to happen. That was part of us being together, that, that we would love one another and that we would have uh, friendship and, and love and family and, and all those good feelings of, of people being there for each other and spending time together but also that we could grow together, that we could learn about the world that God made for us to be in together. And that is what I want to encourage you guys to be thankful for. That God gave you a mom, a dad. God gave you grandparents, and all kinds of other family and friends. God surrounded you with people who love and care for you so that you could grow up 
and continue being this awesome kid, but now you're an awesome adult, right? And maybe have family of your own and a husband or a wife of your own. And you would continue to have more family and kids and then you would pass on to them and you would teach them how to grow up to become adults and, and it just keeps going and going. God made us together and built us to be together and built us to learn from each other. And we can be thankful for those people in our lives that God has put so that we can continue to learn more and more about the world that God gave us, also the word that God gave us, or the words God gave us. I'm talking about the Bible, right? This nice big book telling all about who God is and who we are and how much he loves us and what he did for us so that we could live with him forever. All of that, we need to learn about that too. Even me, a pastor, I'm still learning about that every day. And I'm learning about that so, so that I can help you and your parents learn about it. And if your parents can help you learn about it, then someday you can help other people learn about it too. You can help a friend learn about it right now, but someday when you have kids of your own, you can help them learn about it, right? God's put us all together for that reason. And we can be thankful for that, that we're not alone and we don't need to feel lonely. We don't need to feel lost. We have each other. Sometimes we might be spending a whole lot of time together, huh? Like with all this virus stuff going on and now all this smoke stuff. It might seem sometimes like too much time together, but we're still learning from each other. We're still learning how to say sorry when we bug each other. We're still learning how to respond to one another, right? And how to love one another. So, would you pray with me? And repeat after me. Dear God, thank you for showing me how much you love me. You sent Jesus to die for me rise for me and give me eternal life but you also gave me family and you gave me friends and you gave me all kinds of people who love me and want to help me grow you also put people in my life that I can help grow just by loving them and caring for them and maybe even teaching them things. Thank you for family. Thank you for church. Thank you for my neighborhood all the people that you put us together with that we can love and care for each other. In Jesus' name, amen. Thanks, guys. I'll see you next week.